Hey, I'm Anfa. In this video I want to show you a little rainy window effect I've created in Material Maker. Material Maker version 0.98. My goal was to create an effect of raindrops sliding down a window pane and to have that be usable in a game as a real-time dynamic shader driven material and I think I've achieved the goal um, because this seems to be pretty responsive and there are a couple things going on and I'm going to go through all of them and show you every single component of this material how does it work so that you have a uh, a basic understanding on, of how this effect has been made. The Material Maker project file is available for download. I released this under a Creative Commons Zero license, so this is effectively public domain. Alright, so now you've seen the effect. Let's... Um, maybe change the preview a little bit. And I'm gonna go do a rundown of the nodes to show you how everything here is done. So, starting with the basic droplet. Here I'm creating the basic droplet shape with a long tail. The tail is very important because it will allow us to have this um, low roughness trail following the sliding droplets. Here I'm composing out these two nodes are not necessary. I'm composing the final no droplet. And here we have a tiler. This tiler arranges the droplets. Now we have a sliding transform and we have a transform that distorts this sliding mm, texture. Now we can add two and three of them together to have a set of droplets. So yeah, there are three layers, basically. Here is a noise that determines where droplets are for each of the three layers. So this way we have a little bit of separation so that they don't flow on top of each other and we have a little bit of variation and they are nicely interleaved so we can see that each of these white bars determines where various um, droplets are spawned for each iteration and here is an iterative buffer which accumulates the position of all droplets over 512 frames of animation and this gives us a mask that we can use to make sure that our static droplets, which are created here. Here is a static droplet, very easily made with, a, with a three nodes. And we have large and small static droplets. And these are only spawned away from the sliding droplets, as you can see. We, have that. we also have a Voronoi texture, um, which is manipulated and multiplied with some of our small and large droplets to create some variation and unusual shapes. Then this is blurred. After blurring it, we use math to threshold it, then dilate node to dilate it inwards. Then we blur it a little bit and apply a tonality curve. And this creates our static droplets shapes, which um, thanks to the dilation has a really nice effect. And here we also add dynamic landing droplets onto that, which are animated. I'm gonna go for the animated falling droplets now as well. We have a, a color noise that encodes differences in position. And here is Voronoi noise that encodes difference in timing. We multiply time 
and cycle it with fract. And here we have a tonality node, which applies an animation curve. Another tonality node, which applies a different animation curve. And we have separating our noise components to RGB for left for X, Y, and scale transform. And here is an advanced styler, which is actually spawning and duplicating our uh, dynamics uh, landing nodes. We are multiplying this by the mask we've created before to make sure that our dynamic landing nodes are not landing in the way of our sliding uh, droplets, droplets, not nodes. Mm, and here we are generating some very high frequency noise. We are blurring it and calculating a difference, so kind of a high passing. And we use that to distort our dynamic landing droplets, which creates very interesting shapes for them. And because we are animating the scaling of these now uh, droplets, they look really, really nice and very natural. Like they, they fall down and they squish out and then they shrink and disappear. And we really don't pay attention to the disappearance. It's not really noticeable, um, but this creates this um, illusion that, hey, there are new droplets falling here all the time. Uh, of course, this is this is an illusion. Um, all of this is a as a very elaborate illusion. Oh wait, don't these notes are not needed? Okay, and here we are generating a roughness mask. Yeah, so you can see the roughness creates this effect of a cold um, a temperature difference. So if we're like in a hot room and it's cold outside, then you know. Mm. Uh, the, the water is going to condense on the on the, the window pane and create this effect. And we're using a dynamic PBR material. Material Maker doesn't allow us to enable uh, refraction, so I'm just using a mm, uh, yeah, just a, a material that like we use. We generate this normal map dynamically uh, with a cheap algorithm, which um, has a low overhead. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the raindrop effect.